Hey, Mario Torinas, I'm a Mountain Tough soldier. Hey, I'm here uh, in the quarantine barracks, uh, and these are, what do we call these things again? Uh, modular barracks. Modular barracks up by the airfield. Uh, we're going to have about 240 uh, folks returning uh, back from Afghanistan, and because of the conditions, obviously, we have to uh, do a 14-day quarantine in what we call Level 2. Uh, we've gone back and forth with Level 1, Level 2, but at the end of the day, for the safety of both our community uh, our population at uh, Fort Drum, we really need to uh, do the uh, level two. Um, it's just how conditions are right now. You see what's happening across uh, our country. Uh, so uh, it's what we decided to go with. But with that said, we want to provide the best uh, facilities possible for the folks that are going to be in here for 14 days. And this is one of the modulars. And what I wanted to do here is really show you uh, what we're doing. We are personally inspecting every single room to make sure that the conditions are right and that everything is perfect for when they arrive. I have representatives from both division with Sergeant Major Ford and Sergeant Major Toppin uh, from our G3 shop that are up here that are coordinating it at a divisional level. I have Jeremy uh, from uh, the single soldier barracks uh, and DPW uh, that are here that if we find anything uh, that's, uh, that's broken or needs to be replaced, as a matter of fact, if you look right here in the corner, this is stuff that we came here, identified, and we fixed uh, right now, and we're taking care. Have uh, Sergeant Major Peterson uh, and uh, Lieutenant Allen from uh, Sustainment Brigade that are the folks that really own this. Uh, Lieutenant Allen's actually really excited because she spent four hours signing for, uh, for Keys, and it was probably one of the best things she's ever done in her life. Oh. But this is the work that's going to go into it, and this is the fidelity. So I kind of just want to really show you around the building. Oh, and by the way, we also, I'm sorry, we have uh, Sergeant Major Murphy from uh, the CAB, which is the representative. We are calling him now the COVID czar. Who? Oh. So he is dealing with anything that's doing with that uh, has to deal with COVID and making sure that he is coordinating across the entire uh, brigade in order to make sure that we're safe, best living conditions possible, and address any needs the soldiers, uh, leaders that are coming back uh, have. Cool. So obviously every single one of these barracks has a laundry facility, it has three washers and three dryers, uh, and the same thing. So it's per floor, so it's not just this for the entire building, three washers, three dryers, in uh, each floor and then i'll show you what the rooms look like we again we have walked through every single one of these rooms so right here we have a kitchenette has a full-size refrigerator uh, has a sink uh, microwave uh, that's a communal use for this mod what we're trying to do is try to keep folks isolated into groups so that if there is a potential positive we're not spreading it to the entire group of, of folks in it. So trying to contain it as best we can. It has a bathroom. Uh, the bathroom has three showers. And then both, again, this is downstairs and upstairs. Cool. And you can see it's really nice, fairly modern, all clean, all ready to go. And then when we go in one of the rooms here, what we've done is we set up uh, each one of the beds with all uh, the uh, bedding that they need, extra toilet paper, uh, they have a desk, chairs, and each one of them has a uh, basic, uh, I guess we call this a, a locker, uh, so that they can put their stuff and also they can secure it. Oh. So it kind of gives you an idea, this is what they're going to come into. Uh, and right now, the next 240 uh, soldiers coming in, this is the facilities you're going to leave. Let, let, me, let me tell you, though, a tremendous amount of work to make this happen. Cool. And a lot of folks fully invested in making sure, again, that we provide soldiers who have given nine months of their lives already in harm's way to come back and have the possible best 14 days uh, available to them in a nice, clean, safe facility. Cool. So this is the downstairs. We got it also upstairs as well. And it is the exact same thing. Just really wanted to show it to you. Uh, again, what you saw downstairs is again what we have upstairs as well. So again, another laundry facility, ready and operational. And I got to give a big shout out to uh, Jeremy. If we have anything that breaks, uh, our folks from Single Soldier Housing are replacing it like that. 
really tied in with DPW. DPW team's being awesome, addressing any issues we have coming out here, getting it fixed. Oh. But again, it's exactly the same. So um, for all the folks that are watching this, I know there's a lot of families of soldiers uh, that follow me and that look at the social media piece. Look, we are utterly invested all in to make sure we take care of the soldiers. We, we probably mishandled it a little bit in the beginning, learning a lot of lessons, but that's the past. Every one of the soldiers coming back from our uh, Combat Aviation Brigade are gonna have some awesome facilities with an entire staff that's dedicated to make sure that everything is taken care of. This is Command Sergeant Major, 10th Mountain Division, Climb the Glory. Mm -hmm.